fact is um, Rida Talib, um, and she wrote underneath her name, Marhaba Enti Bent Min. So, hello, who's your daughter? Or whose daughter are you? Sorry. Um, yeah, so please um, welcome her up. Hello, everyone. Actually, I came here tonight to support um, the best henna tattoo artist, um, Noor. And I was actually getting a tattoo done today, and we just had this incredible conversation about Isra um, and the whole honor killing that happened there. And then we kind of just unpacked um, why she was drawn to art and how nature is like a huge theme in her life, and that's something that her and I have in common. Um, and then I came here today and I said, well, maybe if I'm comfortable, I'll read my poem. Um, and if not, then I'll just come here and listen and support all of you. But I felt compelled to share after um, listening to Yasmin's poem about Isra. And I think that these serendipitous moments really compel us to share at times when we may think that it's not the perfect time. Um, there really is no perfect time. So here goes a spark talk that I um, gave at a convention in Des Moines, Iowa, where we met some presidential candidates. Um, and so it's called Marhaba Intimate Mean, Hello, Whose Daughter Are You? Out of suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. No other quote captures the impact that incarceration had on my life or the lives of many Middle Eastern families I know, better than this one, by the great Lebanese poet Khalil Gibran. And while some scars are physical and therefore easily visible, many remain tucked away in the deepest chambers of our souls. Access to them is limited or denied by their holder, by cultural norms that reinforce a blind allegiance to silent suffering. Because speaking openly about being the daughter of an incarcerated father is taboo. It demonstrates weakness and a desire for pity. By a criminal justice system that seeks to punish, deter, separate, and profit, rather than provide restoration, redemption, and reimagining what justice, forgiveness, and true community healing should be. My name is Rita Talib, and my talk, Marhaba and Tibint Mean, highlights how certain cultural norms actually perpetuate the harm that incarceration already has on impacted families. I grew up here in Dearborn, Michigan. It's a city that boasts the largest concentration of Arab Americans in the US. And we all know when meeting someone for the first time, it's customary to instantly ask them, whose daughter are you? To which a well-raised and respectful young lady should reply with her father's name, his name. It's like a computer chip that decodes your entire past, your present, and predicts your future devoid of your individual merit and potential. This past April, I hosted a criminal justice reform event at the University of Michigan's Dearborn campus. Afterwards, a co-panelist from Brooklyn invited me to a poetry event in Detroit. Unbeknownst to the both of us, my attendance that evening would be life-changing. We met the host, a man who served 29 years of a life sentence he was recently pardoned from. The encounter reopened wounds within me that I thought I carefully tucked away. I learned he served time at Ryan Correctional Facility with my father. He was there that Sunday morning in 2009 when my father died of an aortic aneurysm in his prison cell. There I was wide awake at 2 a.m. and no matter what I did, I couldn't sleep until I surrendered to the words of a poem that flowed so lucidly out of me. I vowed that evening that I would share my story publicly for the first time, because it's only when we share our individual stories that we truly give others permission to do the same, thereby adding to the collective voices in a progressive movement seeking true criminal justice reform in 2020 and beyond. So this poem is dedicated to Mama and Baba, my incredibly resilient siblings who endured, and to any of you or to anyone listening in need of a spark to light the fire towards their healing. Marhaba, and didn't mean, they always asked me, knowing all along whose daughter I was. He planted his seed, but to them, to them I was just a weed, predestined never to blossom to some. It's a question deeply rooted in patriarchy. 
a cultural norm that produced such a devastating storm every single time it pierced and punctured my heart, raced and ached, the shame I could never escape imprisoned. I was sentenced with him and did the time. Long before you met me and heard this rhyme, I've been pushing, pulling, connecting, calling, rising and falling. Excuse me, sister, is this seat taken? No, brother, it's all yours. It was yours before I even knew and drew the connection to the inevitable affection that your, your arms and shoulder told me. Come here, baby girl and lay your heavy heart upon me. He had mastered the art of dropping the boulder onto their shoulder, making them the new holder of this weight. His intent to create a life and legacy not built upon a predestined fate. Mariachi Margarita, we danced la dolce vita. He looked into my eyes. My name is Rita. My father did 20 years at Ryan Correctional Facility. He died there two years before his release days before I learned I was accepted into law school. Sister, sister, your father was a gardener. He found his peace and he would be very proud of you. Tears flooded my eyes and flowed through me. I leaped into his arms, clutching, still yearning for a semblance, a remnant of my father. My brain couldn't process it all, pushing, pulling, rising and falling. It's the Brooklyn way. He came my way to Detroit. What a sight, a vision. I swear it helped heal this deep incision that nearly broke me but woke me up to the dawn of a new day, no longer pushing or pulling, rising or falling. A connection was made. I, I am no longer shackled or shamed. You, you don't get to define me or my family name, the one that I proudly claim because a woman's voice, a woman's voice is a revolution, a just and nurturing solution. So now when they ask me, marhaba, inti bint mean? I say, ana bint abid lihsan talib. And I surrender. I am no longer your offender. <laughs>